Hey guys, uh, Satya here. Today we'll see one uh, uh, Selenium concept, uh, not concept exactly, but a kind of trick where we'll see sometimes what happens if you are in aut UI automation and you are interacting with a browser to capture element, I mean the XPath for elements, then in that case what happens? Sometimes you, you might have uh, come across uh, uh, some situations where uh, 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 on your mouse movement, that element gets disappeared, right? Uh, example like tooltip. When you when you mouse over to to an element, you see the tooltip. But as soon as you you move the mouse, then in that case you see that uh, element goes off. So in that case, what exactly we need to do? So I have this site, okay? And in this site exactly, we'll see. Uh, you can see here the tooltip comes right as soon as I move my mouse the tooltip uh, goes off right so we have two options here I'll show you exactly how these two options we can use uh, two alternate options so we'll see this first option what exactly so so uh, uh, when whenever we uh, uh, go to uh, get the X path or design X path so we inspect in it in a page right so that is what the steps so this is the steps mentioned you can go along with these steps and you can capture it now how to do this just press f12 or you can go to inspect okay now as soon as you come uh, you come here now if you see here i'll show you something before before going to this let's uh, check this if you see here i see here what do you call gems this is the tooltip, right? Gems, year 2019, 13,000, right? Now, it goes off, right? Now, in this situation, let's check whether this value, year 2009 or gems, uh, year 2009, 13,000, is already present in this or not. Just click here, Control F. This comes up. Exactly, you can type that and check whether it is already there in this DOM structure or not year 2009 so let's do one thing I'll just capture this screenshot okay so this is what we'll search here just search here year 2009 So it is there here, right? There are two places it is there. Let's search something else. 2009, 15,000. Let's search this one. Okay, so this is not there. Where it comes? So let me take this screenshot, sorry. Just a minute. This is what we'll be searching. Let me take the screenshot here. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what year 2009 15,000. So this is what I'm searching here, and it is not there. Okay, I'm just entering here, it is not there in the DOM structure. Now, in this case, I want to capture this right in my script whenever I do automation. So in this case, what exactly to do? We inspected it. There are two options here. We'll go with the one by one. Now go to console. Okay. Go to console here. So whenever you inspect, it will be by default in elements. Go to console. Okay. Now this is the code. You paste there. Just paste. Okay. Do not enter it for now. I'll tell you. Now you. <coughs> what what you so this what exactly it is telling you is it, it it will be in the debugger mode and in it will wait for what do you call three seconds this is millisecond three thousand milliseconds so three seconds it will wait for three seconds then it will pause this page any actions i mean it will just uh, uh, what do you call this uh, uh, avoid any actions on this page it will just pause it okay so now as soon as i enter here 
I have three seconds until it gets paused, right? Now within that three seconds, right? I'll move my mouse over here, and I'll just keep this mouse like this, and then it will pause this web page. So in that case, what happens? I have this element captured, and this web page will become a static web page. Then I'll go to you just wait for pause right you mouse over over this element and it wait until it, it it's paused then you go to this element section and capture that element right now i'll just enter it and i'll mouse over to this element now i can see the tooltip now it uh, on 3 3 seconds it got paused okay <clears throat> now in this case what happens it is paused now you go to elements okay now you can inspect however the the regular way you used to inspect it right you can use whatever the elements you can see this is also tool tip you can inspect it so in this case if it is see this, this this element is there now right but still for some some or other reason you are not able to capture it so what exactly you can do is the same way we have we had searched this right same way you can just search again you can just enter it now you can see that element is there in the dom structure right you can see here it's there and it is highlighting also here right now in your regular way however you want to uh, what do you call this uh, uh, get this x path like uh, this is the element and uh, uh, then this parent element however you, i mean the, the regular way how do you find uh, uh, any x path for any element similar way you can proceed and find the element so only thing what we have solved here is this element we are not able to get the in the dom structure right now we, we we got this in the dom right so now it is easy to find the x path <coughs> similar way now if you see here right you can just click anywhere pause and debug mode you can just play it once you captured the screen so um, captured the x path for this element you can just play it now that is gone right so same way this is also an alternate way to find <coughs> now let's search it again it's not there i'm just searching this one right it's not there in dom now we'll use this option same thing inspect we are in the inspect mode now go to sources instead of console you go to sources okay this is not required this is something else okay go to sources this is the the, the ui you can see here then mouse over to any element whichever you want to see right i want to capture this one so i just mouse over over this element right after that what happens you just have to press f8 i'll mouse over to this and just press f8 let me press f8 yeah i just pressed f8 so automatic it got paused so it paused that web website now this element also i got then what happens then again the same way you go to element section and search it here you got that in dom right then again same way you just proceed with your uh, x path uh, uh, capturing uh, steps and go and capture the x path right so <clears throat> so this is how this is a trick how to capture this x path uh, of any element where that element gets disappeared a kind of a tool tip where whenever you move your mouse you move your cursor right and after that uh, this is just a trick to capture the x path then after that you need to design your x path and uh, whatever the steps you need to do like uh, mouse over c uh, the in, in script you need to handle that you know you, you need to use the action class right <coughs> action class you have to use then uh, you you need to use move to uh, element then you need to move your mouse to this element then this tool tip displayed then that x path whatever you have designed for to capture this tool tip text or anything 
you will be using that XPath to capture these elements and values. So that is how you will proceed. Right? So hope this is clear. So yeah, so that's all for this video. So thank you guys. Uh, uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.